So, it's been a quiet while now. I think it's about week number four. We um, using the 280. And I'm pleased to say that she's been absolutely fantastic so far. You know, a few uh, little bits uh, to change some moorings here and there. One old horse on top of the boom and we change that. Uh, apart from that, it's okay. We had. Um, one overheating, one overheating morning. Uh, it didn't overheat. Uh, I believe since I had the radiator out of it, because you know I had to. If you say, if you look at my previous videos, when I uh, dig out the broken studs from the engine block, I had all the radiators and everything out of it. I believe it it was an air pocket um, in the system. <coughs> um, other says that's probably just a sensor issue. One of the other, it doesn't overheat. It doesn't uh, have any coolant missing. It's absolutely fine. You know, when the alarm went off, saying that she's overheating. I jumped out straight away, opened the back door, I touched the radiator with my bare hand and it was literally cold. And it's plenty of fluid in there. Uh, it was literally cold. Uh, you know, obviously I walked around, opened the bonnet, she wasn't overheating, it was absolutely normal. Nothing was wrong with it. Anyway, so I believe one of those two is rather... Uh, funny enough, so it's only he did that a couple of times and uh, you know, it's been quite a while, it's uh, been all right. Um, it's also just jumps, like she literally just jumps up and within within 20 seconds it goes back to normal. Uh, yeah, so apart from that, these, it's a brilliant machine. It drives really well, it's, she's very smooth to operate. Um, obviously we um, tidied up the hitch, the line board the hitch at the dipper. It's got new bushes in there, she's, she's pretty tight. If you see any wobble in there, it's, it's in the grab. It's not in the actual hitch, the hitch is tight. So I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the job itself is getting a bit boring, as you see all I have to do just uh, emptying these barges. It's quite monotone and boring after a while. Um, Rob is out there with the amphib, loading the barges. And Rob, another Rob, <laughs> funny, two Robs here. And another Rob is on the boat, which we also done not long ago. Uh, now that boat had some issues, but slowly, slowly we overcome all of it. And uh, we get it dialed in. So the boat runs, it does the job, it does the work. Uh, hydraulic wise, sometimes she feels like um, it's overloaded with some sort of, um, you know, it's like, um, it's like when you're overpowering a digger and you can hear the hydraulic or the engine really struggling with it. So that's what it sounds like sometimes and it's get, get really smoky then you can hear it at the engine and see it <laughs> at the engine, like you said there, really works hard and um, I actually drove that for a day and I think it's a fun boat and it's pretty cool and I think, I think the back and forth actually got two speed um, you just can't feel on the pedal the transition other than feel it. Uh, I mean, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, I said that lovely, you can't feel it other than feel it. So you, you can't feel it on the pedal, but you can, 
you can hear it and feel it on the on, on the board on the whole system there that when you floor it she's really struggled to keep that proper that spinning but when you going on a lower speed so when you're not really flooring you just go a little bit then um, she's happy um, so yeah and then we had some electric issues we had some electric issues and we ended up rewiring the whole lot obviously pretty simple it's uh, you know not rocket science so she's a pretty old girl so we just got a new loom in there some new uh, Gauges and uh, ignition switch, and uh, yeah, she's up and running now. And we are still at the quarry. The boys are from the quarry are parked up. There is a um, G52 there. Quite a lovely machine, huge. And there is a there is a 988k loading shovel here in the northern end, which is a big boy, and I really want to see it. And if I see it, I will make sure you will guys see it. I already was talking about it to the manager, and he said, "Yeah, we can have a look of it." So I'm looking forward to that and they got a brand new D6 delivered last week or a week before here I was lucky enough to be here when it's got delivered what a machine uh, anyway good old Rob is practicing on the board so obviously the board got winches so you can hook it up to those spikes on the end of the barge but because we're pinging it and the back shore barges you know get halfway on his own it's such a short distance it takes more time to hook it up and unhook it, unhook it than you know just do what Rob do now and just fetch it over without uh, without uh, actually hooking it up with the, with the winch and the long reach got such a, such a long reach that as you can see I can just grab it um, and now I fetch this and it will go more, more than halfway, just like that. And Robbie's get behind with the boat. And um, sort it out, get it to its final destination. And the another rob in the amphibian will load it up. The, rob, the, the boat is awesome, it's so easy to drive. Obviously, you got a pedal forwards and backwards, you got a hand to throttle and uh, the steering. So, the steering when it turns the outboard, which is not an outboard because it's all hydraulic, so you've got a hydraulic motor with that. Not a proper lever, it's an auger type thing, so it will go in the seals as well. Uh, so, that's why we're loving it, it's so good. And it's got his own coolant, so he's not stuck in the dirty water race. Um, these are huge benefits. Um, of the boat anyway because the uh, because the outboard is um yeah it's pretty simple small unit considering it can turn 180 degrees on the end of that boat and that boat is so maneuverable it will spin around in one spot very good very very good so it's, um, the grab the clamp shell we modified it, we built that. It's off our grab lorry and it's just a little bit of perfect size for a 13 tonner or our, our long reach as such as that. Uh, you know, the machine is not struggling with it. It's it's plenty enough for these barges. Don't need a bigger one because it won't fit in it. It's tight fit already. Uh, and it just works. However, we got four M16 bolts holding the grab to the adapter plate for the hitch and those are just keep losing up so keeping my eye on it and I keep tying them down and because it's four of them the 
biggest problem is, I think, because when we got those plates, they got made up and uh, they've been pre-drilled the four hole for M18, I think. So the holes are a bit bigger than the holes in the grab. Uh, so there's a bit of a play there. So when you tie it down and when I push, when I push these barges and, you know, do anything. So as soon as I grab it on the corner, I'm causing a twisting motion on that thingy, on that mount. And when it happens, it slowly wiggles, uh, wiggles uh, the, the nuts loose on the bolts. Even we got spring washer, double, uh, double nuts on it. Uh, still won't stay tied forever. So I'm checking those daily. Uh, and obviously, as soon as we get back to the yard, we're gonna modify that. And we're gonna make it strong and safe. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is safe, as long as you know what you're doing. You know, you can rip it off with any machine, it doesn't matter how many bolts you got in there. If you being a... See you next Tuesday, you can rip it off no matter what. It's been a quite a while since I've done a, a cab video like that. So um, I thought I'd do one. I love this machine. Uh, she's very stable. You can tell it's a factory built long reach. It's well balanced. She's rock steady. And she's powerful, very powerful. And smooth. And quick for its size. Well, it's a 280, but the end of carriage, it's from a... Uh, 300 for sure and with all the, the boom and extra bit I think the gross weight of the machine is about 35 ton more or less position compared to the the levers so the older he touch is gonna be longer levers so you're kind of holding it up here now these ones are lovely but if I want to operate this all these long they were they want to be the base of it wants to be up here somewhere really so you're holding them here a little bit because I tell you why the seat already is in the lower section so I can't I can't get it any lower and when I'm pulling this lever back, as you can see, can you see? Let me let me check if you can see. Uh, so when I pull this back, you can see it's it's on my wrist. It's, it's just just isn't working. I can't bend my wrist back. So I'm actually operating it like that, holding it on the top, which I do most of the time anyway. But I just can't see. I can't see that it's supposed to be like that I think that that could have been a fault a design fault or some some sort of uh, issue like that so there is the badge comes in I just wait until it actually rubs uh, gets out of the way before I bring it because once once I launch it I don't have control over it and you know sometimes it goes straight to rub sometimes it wander, wanders off to the left wanders off to the right now it goes to the same direction the boat it makes a lot of current which is there for quite a long time. Now Rob is well out of the way so I'm gonna go for it. You can see here when I pinging it, 
because I got no rotation on the grab. I'm pushing it on the corner and it's a lot of twisting force on the head. There's a lot of twisting force on the head and that's why those balls can lose up.
getting a bit more windier and I thought it's gonna come so I really hope the boys that give me two minutes I need to land that drone as soon as I start as soon as I stepped out of the cab to bring the drone back started to chucking it down I was lucky with it yes. no uh, no drama there at all yeah, I got the drone back no problem whatsoever it was a close call I think if I, I wait five seconds more or ten seconds more or even less um, the drone is in the lake anyway so that's what we're doing as you can see the the boat is really smoking now it's got a four cylinder I think I believe it's a Nissan diesel engine in it runs sweet really it sounds good uh, but you can tell uh, she's working hard it's got a decent pump on it there is a sweet spot uh, in my opinion But the ball runs good and it's doing its job very well. So I'm just gonna ping that again. So there's a lot of force on that grab when I'm doing this uh, and it's not centered in the middle. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for watching.